Well hello internet and welcome to part 2 of my Samsung mobile SDK tutorial. In this part of the tutorial I'm going to continue and finish the code that we wrote in part 1 of this series in which we were introducing the S Pen part of the Samsung mobile SDK. And you absolutely positively must watch part 1 before you watch this because I started creating the app in part 1 and here I'm going to finish it. And I provide a link to part 1 in the upper right hand corner of this screen. But before I jump back into the code and finish that app, I'd like to answer a couple questions that I've received since I created part one, which basically center around the whole idea of how do you learn a new software development kit. So let's take a look at what I do anyway. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is of course download the software development kit because you're going to get all kinds of documentation as well as great samples. At least you do in this situation with this software development kit. Then you're going to be able to go through all of these different samples that are provided to you and there are a ton of them. And then what I do anyway in this situation is I would go to developer.samsung.com forward slash Samsung mobile SDK just like you see right there. Comb through all of this documentation which is going to give you a brief overview of all the different tools like right here. You're going to see right here in this little table exactly the capabilities of all of the different parts of the SDK all in one place. And you can scroll through here and just get a really nice overview of the SDK. Then what I do, once I have all the samples put together, I would go to image-developer.samsung.com online docs. I go to the online documentation or the API. And then as I come across different parts of the code, maybe some of it I don't understand, I can just bounce through here and let's say that I am using the pen. Click on that and then I can just scroll my way down and look at all of the different objects that are available to me. And then read up on them. And then slowly, as you go through all of this code, this is how I learned Android, by the way, over two years ago. I just combed through the API. So that's basically what I do, and I just wanted to make sure you are aware of those links, which I'll also put in the description for this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'll continue covering everything you need to know to finish the S Pen example app that we started in the previous tutorial. And I'm just going to jump directly into that code right now. Now if we got this far, we basically know that the device that we're going to be using isn't a Samsung device. So what we want to do in this situation is define exactly what's going to happen if the mobile SDK doesn't support the device that we're using. So this is going to bring us to the process unsupported exception, which was the function that we had way up here at the very, very, very beginning. There it is, process unsupported exception. Copy that name, spin back down here again, and here we are and it is going to be receiving the unsupported exception. Well, I don't need to go up there to get that. Just copy this, and then it's gonna receive S SDK, unsupported exception, and let that be E, and then we could print a stack trace, so we'll be able to track how we got here, and we can get our error type by just going E, get me or type. Then we're basically going to be able to ask it a whole bunch of different questions. By it, I'm referring to the error type. So we could ask it something like, is this a Samsung device? And we do that by going error type equal to, call this guy up here, and then we're going to call vendor not supported, which means it is not a Samsung device, or error type equal to, again, call to the unsupported exception, device not supported. And then in that situation, we're going to print out another toast, paste that in there. Device does not support S Pen, let's just leave it as that. Everything else is perfectly fine, so let's just kill the application by calling finish. And then we're going to say else if, and check a couple other different potential error types. So error type equal to paste in our unsupported exception. And in this situation, we're going to ask if the SDK library was installed. And we do that by calling library not installed. There we go, that's the error. And this is the situation in which we opened up the application and we clicked on it and it said, hey, wait a minute, you need to download the new S Pen SDK. Remember, we went and got that application. So we're basically going to have to generate an alert dialog that's going to tell them to do the same thing. And in this situation, we're going to call show alert dialog. And we're going to create this method here in a few seconds. And in it, we're going to say something like, you need to install additional S Pen software plus, and then say, to use this application plus, 
you will be taken to the installation screen and then restart this application after the software has been installed and then true. So that was kind of long-winded. Then we got ourselves another else if that we need to handle and in this situation we're going to check if the error type is equal to again we're going to use this guy right here and we're going to check in this situation to make sure that the library might be installed but it might need to be updated and in this situation we're going to use the required for an update and i forgot to mention it but this true that we have here that is going to be passed over if the application needs to be closed so that's what that means okay so if this needs to be updated Grab this, paste that in there. You need to update your S Pen software to use this application, perfectly fine. You will be taken to the installation screen and actually restart this application after the software has been used and true, again, because we do want it to be restarted, are also going to be passed along. And that brings us to our last else if, and that else if is going to be in reference to the fact that they do not need to update but it is something that is recommended that they do and in that situation check if the error type is this exception and i mean we could throw it out altogether but this is basically going to handle it and we're going to say is recommended which means not required of course and in that situation let's just copy this again paste that in there and we're going to say we recommend that you update your s pen software and then we'll say before using this application and then we're going to say you'll be taken to the installation screen restart the application after the software has been updated however in this situation we're not going to force close it we're going to say false and then if we get down here we're going to return false which if we scroll way up here you can see that we checked if true or false was passed inside of there and then in all the other situations in which we know the activity was closed we're going to return true. All right, and that leaves us with one thing, show alert dialog, which is going to receive a great big giant string to print out in a dialog box, and then it's gonna decide if the activity either survives or gets deleted, or shut down anyway, not deleted. So to create it, our final function, go private, void, it's not gonna return anything in this situation, alert dialog, it's going to receive a string, of course, to print in our dialog also going to receive our boolean which is going to say do we want to close our activity or not and then inside of it it's going to create our dialog box so to create our dialog box we're going to call alert dialog builder and this is called dlg and new call alert dialog builder and it needs passed in our context and then we can set the icon to display in our title to do that we're just going to use the default little icon that's provided by Android. And to get that default, we're gonna call get resources, get drawable. These are like the little graphics that we get by using Android. And then we'll specifically call R drawable. And the one we want is dialog alert. And that is down here, I see dialog alert. There it is. So it's stored in there so we don't have to use our own. And then now that the icon's been set, we can also set the title, and in this situation, we're going to call this upgrade notification. Also to this, set message to the message that was passed inside of here. And then we have to decide what's going to happen if they click on a positive button or if they click on and cancel. So, OK or cancel. And this is set positive button. And in this situation, we're going to use default Android again string yes it's okay to, to proceed and then we're going to create the on click listener which is going to handle what happens so dialog interface on click listener come down here put a semicolon it's going to say hey you need to add some unimplemented methods so let's do that there we go so what exactly are we going to do whenever they click on the yes button well we're going to need to send them over to google play and specifically send them to the s pen application that they're going to need to download and to do that we're going to have to create a uniform resource identifier to store that location and have to call parse and then inside of it to reference the google play store we're going to call market and details and then pass an id and then to that guy we're going to call the s pen native package name which is stored right there now it's going to know which application to try to download and since we're going to 
be performing this operation, we're going to need an intent, just like always. Anytime we have an intention to do something, we need an intent. And we're going to call the intent with specifically action view. And specifically, the intent here is to use that universal resource identifier to trigger the Google Play Store to open so that we can get our application and, and be able to use the S Pen. But first, what we're going to need to do is set some flags. And these flags are basically going to define how our intent is going to be used. So first off, we're going to have to say, yes, a new task is being started. So we just go intent, set flags. And then inside of it, intent, flag, and say yes, a new task is being started. And then we want to clear our task as well. And then after we have that all set up, all we need to do is open the Google Play Store. And we do that by calling start activity and pass our intent. Now that we have that set up, we just close our dialog box and then close our application altogether. Get rid of that semicolon that's right there because we're also going to have to handle if they hit either a negative button or they hit the cancel button. Have no there, have to create our new click listener. Come in here and add unimplemented methods again. There we go. And then basically we're just going to define if we are going to force close the application or not. And we'll do that by just going close activity, checking if it's true. And if it is, we're gonna call finish close it and then in this situation of course we want to close our dialogue as well either way and then finally we're gonna say what are we gonna do if they hit the cancel button define our cancel listener add unimplemented methods which in this situation are going to be on cancel we get it there it is and then again we're gonna see if we should delete our activity or not and either way we're gonna close our dialog box and then after we get all of those different things defined we're going to say show and then finally set null for our dialog box. And then the absolute final thing we have to do is define what's gonna happen when the application is shut down. And in this situation, we can just come in here, go source, override implement methods, come up here, activity, on destroy, put a check mark in there, go okay, there's on destroy. And then we're basically just gonna close up the S Pen surface view as well as the note doc. So we're gonna say if S Pen surface view is not equal to null, then we wanna close it and then set the value to null. And then we're basically gonna do exactly the same thing in this situation for the S Pen note doc. If it's not equal to null inside of a try block, we're gonna say S Pen note doc, close, and then catch all the exceptions that might be triggered from that print stack trace and then set the note doc to null. And there you go. You just took a whirlwind trip through developing an S Pen app and learned a lot. I mean, really, I covered a lot. There's one little error here. I just want to make sure that I correct that. Yeah, it's right here. Get drawable in this situation. I just want to go get resources, close that off, put a dot right there, get drawable, come down here to the end, and get rid of this additional bracket. And the error went away. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. I know it was long. I just love to put as much information as humanly possible into each tutorial. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.